Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail we have got a new manager in charge, Robert Diazares. Sorry if I mispronounced that in any way, shape or form, I most probably have. He is the new Brighton manager. I'm so excited to make this video, so while I'm here let's go over a few stats and a few things I've found about. I've only had about 15 minutes of research as well, so you know please do bear with me. Um, but I'm hoping for some stats to excite you for the game that Brighton will play next up, which is Liverpool away. So anyway, let's go over a few of these stats and let me know how you feel in the comments below. So let's get straight down to this video. So guys, you know what to do, give a big thumbs up if you do it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So, he's the ex manager of Champions League of Shakhtar Donetsk. Shakhtar Donetsk played Champions League, I believe, for about the last three or four seasons. Him to leave Shakhtar Donetsk. Now how pumped I'm about being a bike fan and the manager, the money's got to be right. So, and he's brought his coaching staff with him as well. You know, he's, I think he's compared over two clubs with his coaching staff. So we have got new coaching staff in place as well. <laughs> is, oh, as I said, I'm so excited about this video. He's also inspired the same game like the Peps with Pep Guardiola and Klopp. He used to play 4-3-3. Exactly like we left Grand Potter or Grand Potter left us. He's now diverted that to a 4 2 3 1. He likes getting the freedom of space about. So, you know, if we are playing the ball a bit, don't worry, we try to work out some space and that does fall into my late attack, my later bits of bobs as well. In a non professional, in a non uh, position of the ball, the team will practice. Offside traps, so prepare to see that um, as well, as well as high intensity presses. So, when a player's on the ball, prepare for our players to be up in their faces and say, Give me that ball back, otherwise, I'm just gonna stick with you. <laughs> As I said, I'm so, so excited to make this video. Um, literally, I'm trying to keep my nerve. I'll just probably go outside and see about this. Hopefully, it will all pay off with my, all my excitement in the near future. He likes to play wing backs, um, so if we're in possession of the ball yet again, as soon as we left ground, uh, as soon as Ryan Potter left us, the wing backs will come forward, so it will basically look like a three in defence, I think, um, maybe a two or a three. So it's going to be a really interesting game going forward for Brighton. I'm super hyped, I'm just hoping all my hype pays off, as I said, a due course. High intensity when the uh, the opposition on the ball, as exactly what I said um, just a minute ago. Basically, when the players are on the ball, we're going to want to push them because hardly making mistakes. And you know, if you hardly make a mistake, or the opposition hardly make a mistake, we're more likely to well, we're more likely to put the ball in the back of the net, especially when, when they're back players on the ball. So, it's better players like Undav, uh, maybe Lampardy as well. Um, if he's down that far, um, I'm just trying to think, Danny Welbeck as well, be prepared for them to put that high, high pressure in on their defence. Liverpool <laughs> ain't had the best of starts either. Let's just touch wood that it all goes our way as well. What a great game this will be to uh, start under a new boss, especially a win over Liverpool. But we have to wait and see about that. Ball possession in the middle of the park to free up space, so a bit like... Um, McAllister or or Carcedo's on the ball. It will if we ain't got the space. They will try and keep the space to basically free up the space and maybe Welbeck have to come out of position to drag the centre back out and all that kind of stuff. So be prepared if there isn't the space for us to keep possession of the ball in the middle of the park. So basically, yeah. Basically, just what I said, lots of McAllister, uh, Carcedo to keep the ball in the middle of the park, try and throw out some space. Um, and as I've just basically said as well, um, the ball will stand in the middle of the park. Um, so, yeah, and this one's the last one. It's just a quick short video. Anyway, um, why there were no spaces, the team will keep possession of the ball. Yeah, again, exactly under Grand Potter like we did. So if we ain't got the space, we haven't, you know, we can't see the space. You know, it's going to be possession of the ball, basically. But anyway, Wobbo is a new manager of Brighton over Albion. 
we have got a Champions League manager in charge of our club. Oh my days. As I said, I've been so excited to make this video. I've done that. Now I can ramble on a bit. If you want to put him me ramble on what this means to our club and what I've actually said as well um, off camera, and please stay tuned. But what I basically said off camera, Graham Potter's gone. He's taken the likes of Bruno and everyone with him. That's on another video for you to go check it out if you want to. I said to my parents, we should go and move our goalposts. Now what I mean by that, obviously our, our long term game was to finish as a top 10 side. We did that last season by finishing night. By getting rid of Graham Potter, let's move our goalposts even more forward and even quicker as well. We weren't quite expecting it quite special for the club to do it yet let's go get european manager in and let's move our guy and let's go for it you know we've got nothing to lose this season so anyway i'm going to bring this long excited video to an end yes we got him guys you know what to do give us a big fat thumbs up you enjoy it subscribe for more thanks for watching ciao for now